What's up, everybody? My name's Kirk. Welcome to Connect. I have a question for you. When was the last time that you were so sick you had to stay home? You remember it? Well, I think about getting sick sometimes and I get worried. The Connect HQ crew has been worried about that too. Now we have a point that's kind of related to that that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it after me. Are you ready? Here we go. I trust God instead of worrying. Fantastic job. All right, it's that time to worship. So let's go to Connect HQ right now. Guess what time it is, do you know? It's time to connect to God together by singing and moving to music. Even though sometimes I may not feel like dancing or singing, it's not about how I feel. God deserves all of our worship all the time. He deserves our best. He deserves all of our thanks. So get up and let's connect to God together.
This life is a journey A path made for me With every step I take As I run this race I'm becoming the person you call me to be A child of God, a life redeemed So I set my eyes on you Jesus, I'm ready I'm ready to go Where you lead, where you lead I'll follow Where you lead, where you lead I'll go I'm not gonna wait, I'm gonna wait for tomorrow This is the journey of Mike, what are you doing? I'm watching this strange little bug fly through the air. Why? Well, do you ever wonder what he's thinking in his little bug brain? Not really. Is he worried about his next little bug meal, finding a bug wife, settling down, having a little bug family? Or is he confused by a giant creature that's staring at him fly around all day? I didn't think of that. Hey, I'm your friend, don't worry. Where'd he go? Ow! Oh, now I have to have a little bug funeral. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Mike, and this is the time the what-ifs took over. Does that bug bite still hurt, Mike? <sighs> it just itches like crazy. Oh, new mail. I'll see what we got. What does it say? My name is Benny. All my friends from school are getting sick with the flu. I feel fine, but 
What if I get sick too? I don't even want to go outside, I'm so worried. Help me connect HQ. Oh, too worried to go outside? That's, that's no good. Hello? Hi, I don't think we've met before. I've never been to Connect HQ before. My name's Fern. I was hoping someone could help me. Oh, absolutely. My name is Mike and this is Harper. How can we help you? Well, at school yesterday, we took this really big test. I won't know my score until next week and I'm really worried that I didn't pass it. Well, did you study? I studied every night, but what if it wasn't enough? What if I didn't pass? I'm getting a headache, I'm so worried. Another worried person. Maybe we can help Benny and Fern at the same time. That's a great idea, Harper. Worrying just makes us miserable. Instead, we need to say, I trust God instead of worrying. I trust God instead of worrying. Exactly. Worrying's not gonna make your test score better or keep the flu away from you. Uh, hey, hey, Maurice. Maurice. <coughs> hey, guys. Maurice, this is Fern. You should get that cough looked at. I think dust just got stirred up when you came down. I heard you guys say something about worry. I know the perfect skit vision verse link for that. That's awesome, let's see it. Well, I can also help with that flu problem. I found this great website, symptomtracker.doom.gloom. Symptomtracker.doom.gloom? What is it? Well, what you do is you put in your symptoms here, and it tells you what your condition is, see? Uh, I don't think that's what we need right now. Or you can type in the condition here, see, flu, and that'll tell you what symptoms to look out for. That way we can help Benny know what he's looking for. Hmm. Uh, here we go. Coughing, headache. She was just coughing. And earlier she said she had a headache. The coughing was from the dust and the headache was from the worrying. But what if it's more than that? What if you're getting the flu? I am not getting sick. I am not getting sick. But what if you are? Do you want me to get sick too? No, I don't want that. Are you chewing gum? It smells really good. Oh, I love this gum. I love the red color and how soft it is. Wait, did you say you can smell my gum? If smells can get in, then germs can get out. Maurice, you scared me. I swallowed my gum. Well, this says that soft red gums could lead to displaced dental dysphoria. Different kind of gum, Maurice. I don't have displaced dental dysphoria. But what if you do? I don't want that. Ooh. Uh, how often do you swallow your gum? The symptom tracker says that that could lead to borderline waistline misalignment. You two are not sick. Not yet, but what if we get sick? All this worrying is making you too miserable, and it's keeping us from getting any work done. And worst of all, it's making me be the voice of reason. Maybe... This Bible link I found for Benny will help you too as well. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. One day, Jesus noticed a crowd was beginning to follow him. So he went up to a mountainside to teach them. And this is what Jesus said to them. It is pointless to worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or clothes, your life is worth more than any of that. Look at the birds of the sky. They don't plant or harvest or store food away because your heavenly Father takes care of them. And aren't you more valuable to Him than they are? Could worrying add a single moment to your life? And don't worry about what your clothes look like. Look at the lilies of the field and see how they grow. They don't work to make their clothing, and yet they are beautiful. And if God cares so much for the lilies that only last for a little while, why wouldn't He care for you? You don't need to ask the question, what if? Or worry about things like, what will we drink? Or eat? Or where? Your Heavenly Father knows all your needs before even you do. Don't worry about tomorrow, because that will just bring more worry. 
Choose to live for God, and He will always take care of you. Nothing is too small or too big for God. Worry is worth nothing. God's got this. I've never thought of that before. Birds and plants don't ever worry, and God takes care of them. If He wants to take care of them, imagine how much more He wants to take care of us. See? We don't have to try to control every situation with our worry. God is in control. He knows what's best for us, so we should just put our trust in Him. The symptom tracker has done it again. Girls, run, save yourselves. Now, it took a little bit of time, but the symptom tracker was finally able to determine why you're scratching so bad. I just got a bug bite earlier, that's all that is. Not according to this. The symptom tracker says that with the scratching and the redness and the flaky skin, you have cedar rust. Cedar, what? I do not have cedar rust. I don't even know what that is. I've never heard of it. Well, that's the amazing part. It's a disease that only affects trees. You're the first human to ever get it. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Okay, it says here that we can prevent the disease from spreading if we cut off the affected limbs. Whoa, you are not cutting off my arm and I do not have cedar rust. But what if you do? Hey, everyone. Hey, Maurice. Hey, Maurice. Does anybody have the verse link for our transmission to Benny? Maurice, didn't you say that you had the skip vision video earlier? That's right. I got so wrapped up with symptom tracker.doom.gloom, I forgot about it. Here, I'll pull it up right now and put it on the big screen. What a beautiful day to get out on the lake. Uh huh. Oh, I'm out of water. Oh no! It's okay, like a hundred feet from shore. But without that water, all we have left is this water bottle. And this water bottle. And if we drink these, we'll only have the gallon jug of water left in the backpack. Rodney, we're not gonna need that much water. I can literally see my car over there. But what if we get stuck in the water? What if an eagle swoops down and steals our oars? Why would an eagle do that? Okay, no, even if for some strange reason an eagle takes our oars, we use our hands to paddle back or we'll just swim to shore. What if the lake is full of piranha and they swim up to the surface and they eat our hands? <laughs> there are no piranha in this lake. What if the park rangers decide to empty the lake and we get stuck on the riverbed? We can't walk all that way. Why would they drain the lake? I don't know, probably because of the piranha. <laughs> Rodney, it sounds like you've got a lot of what ifs. Well, I've got a what if for you. What if you give your worries to God like it says in the Bible? It says that in the Bible? Yes, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Say it with me. 1 Peter 5, 7. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God. Give all your worries and cares to God. For He cares about you. For He cares about you. Wow. <sighs> that feels amazing, giving all my worries over to God. God loves us. We can go to Him with anything. Does that make you feel a little less what ify? Yeah, it does. How do you feel? Um, a little thirsty. Can I have one of your waters? If you have some to spare. <laughs> all this worrying has made us all look silly. We drove ourselves crazy worrying about all the bad things that probably won't even happen. We forgot about how much God cares for us. Being able to say, I trust God instead of worrying, not only makes us feel better, but also brings us closer to Him. I'm sorry, guys. I was so obsessed with my symptom tracker, I didn't see what an effect it was having on you. We forgive you, Maurice, but maybe it's time you take that app off of your tablet. First, I forgot the verse, and then I didn't notice what was going on around me. This says that forgetfulness and failure to notice details may be signs of neural noggin syndrome. There's that prospector's brain. Maurice, do you need to watch the Skip Vision video again? Mike here, and thank you for your question, Benny, and sorry to hear all your friends are getting the flu, but don't worry. It's pointless to worry about a situation you have no power to change. But you're probably wondering, how do I stop worrying? The Bible says we can take all our worries and hand them over to God. Like this, 1 Peter 5, 7. 
give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. If you're worried about catching the flu or how you did it on a test or making new friends, tell God all about it. He'll take care of the worry because He loves you. Jesus reminds us that God takes care of the birds and the plants. He values you so much more than those birds, so you can be sure He will take care of you too. There's no need to worry. One sure way to know that you are worrying is when you start asking those what if questions in your heart and mind. Or when you feel like something bad is going to happen, even when everything's okay. God is in control. And worry comes when I try to control things that I need to turn over to God. Everything works better and I feel better when I trust God instead of worrying. I hope that helps, Benny. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Luke, I am your father. The reason we don't have to worry is because God cares about us. He showed us his love by giving us Jesus. If you want to be a follower of Jesus, all you have to remember are the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make the decision to follow Jesus, talk to your parents or a leader you trust. That is the most important decision you can make. Be sure to talk to a trusted adult before we finish today to learn more about it. All right, we have a verse that we need to learn. I'm gonna say it, I need you to repeat it with me. Here we go. 1 Peter 5, 7. Give all your worries and cares to God for He cares about you. Great job. All right, we have a super fun activity. Here's what we're doing. It's smart to wash up and protect yourself and others from germs. But everyone at Connect HQ was letting themselves get too worried about getting sick. They needed to give their worries and cares to God. We do too. So here's an activity you can do with your family to help. I want you to go find a jar, like a box or a bowl or a vase. Yes, I'm talking to you, Clark. Go find anything that you have. Any kind of container will do. This is mine. Some pieces of paper, just like this, and something to write with. I got all my stuff here. So here's what you're gonna do. Write some things that you're worried about on the papers. So I wrote this one here, and we're gonna crumple them up, and we're gonna put them in our container. Then I want you to talk with your family about them and pray together to give your worries to God. Go ahead and pause the video while you do the activity. Talking about your worries with someone you trust and praying together is one way to give your worries to God. He cares about you. Thank you so much for joining me in Connect today. We have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. I will see you guys later.